guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to give you guys today another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a split screen effect using Final Cut Pro 10. I've seen a few other videos on YouTube that try to do the same effect, but what they what they require is that you buy another effect from like the add into Final Cut Pro for I believe around 100 bucks. But in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it for free uh, using the built in tools inside Final Cut Pro 10. So before we get into this, I just want to say you need to make sure you have the right clips and the right scenery before you achieve this effect. It does not work all clips. You sort of need to experiment on what clips it works well with. So um, this is kind of like a trial and error based on what clips you have type thing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up Final Cut Pro 10 uh, and make a new timeline and a new event and import your clips. Um, I'm using some stock footage that I just downloaded off the internet. So what we're going to do is <coughs> we're going to take our, our first clip right here. I'm dragging into the timeline like so and then we're gonna take our second clip and uh, drop it right down beneath it so you're gonna have a clip on top the two clips on top of each other and if they're long if one is longer than the other just trim it down a little bit so they match so this is the best way for our split screen to work so then once you have that done you're gonna come over to your effects browser over here and you're gonna search for the mask tool um, which is coming down here and just typing in the word mask or just starting to type it if I was typing there, it should work. Right here, so it's gonna be this mask tool right here, and none of the other ones. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this clip, or this effect rather, onto our first clip, like so. Now that's gonna create our mask around the other clip. Now, I, as you notice in the background, if I were to play this, um, you might be able to see that the other clip is also playing in the background too. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit our mask here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the left corners and drag them to the corner of each screen. Like this. Now you sort of got this little trapezoid effect going on here. Now we're going to take our right hand side clips and drag them to the middle. Uh, when you see the yellow line there, that means you have cheated the middle of the clip. Um, so do the same thing for the, the other one. Try to just eyeball it the best you can um, is basically what I recommend. You might have to play around with this. Like I said, you need to have the right clips in order to achieve this. And then what I usually do is I usually bring the feather up a little bit. Um, so it, you sure get that dissolving effect. So probably around like right here is probably where I would go. So um, right here is where I have my feather set. And then once that's done, you basically achieved a split screen effect. I know it's not the best looking one, but like I said, you need to have the right clips in order to um, achieve this effect. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Um, all you need to do is um, make a mask and drag the feather around. So any, anyway, guys, that's how you make this um, effect. Uh, and then you need that, and then you can export it into a video or add it to your own video and upload it to YouTube or something. But if you guys have any questions about this effect, just let me know. And I will see you guys.